Hello sailors, this is the Dodgy Kebab and today's video is about two things. So give me a few minutes and I can touch on both of these points. Here in the Western world, when a video game comes out with a female protagonist, there are three types of players. Group 1 is the normal people that don't care and just play the game anyway. This is what most people used to do before social media made literally everything a political issue. Group 2 is the dickheads that call the game SJW pandering garbage and go mental on social media and end up getting banned by mods. Group 3 is another bunch of dickheads who call the game progressive and stunning and brave and jizz their pants all over social media, although they never actually play the game because they're too busy participating in a Twitter circle jerk. In Japan, people are a lot smarter than they are in the West, so games come out all the time with girls in, without having to be a political issue. So let's see what can be achieved by mankind when we ignore the politics. <laughs> This is The Cat Fight, a Japanese PlayStation 2 fighting game that features an all-female roster of nine totally unique girls. But let's start at the beginning. This game gives you textbook options in its main menu, but there is one called View. Select this one and you can pick from one of the girls. Then you can view that girl in any of her fighting poses with free control over the camera, just in case there are any areas you want to inspect the graphic quality. But it's the Evo Esports quality fighting action that I'm sure you're here for so let's take a look at that. All the girls wear combat grade bikinis as they perform a mixture of MMA, wrestling and street fighting. There are even some special moves to cause massive, massive damage. damage. However, in some rounds though, weapons are introduced. Here I've got a fucking machine gun. In between rounds, I'm assuming this button prompt is to indicate a method of regaining HP while you get a closer look at your fighter. Should you win the match, you'll get another close up look and this time the jiggle physics engine gets put to good use. Now you wouldn't expect this game to leave the shores of Japan, but this was the PS2 era and thankfully social media outrage artists were not around, so this game got a UK release under the name Fighting Angels. Only in the UK though, never made it to America. Strangely, in 2018, a game on Steam went under the radar for most people and was called Fight Angels, but I think this is a coincidence, I don't think it's related at all. The noble art of foxy boxing has all but been lost in this modern age that we now live. It's that girls should stick to girl sports, such as hard oil wrestling. Boxy boxing. This is where developer Tamsoft and publisher D3 come in with the Japanese PS2 game Love Upper. The eagle eyed among you will notice it's the same developer publisher combination as the last game, and that same quality oozes through into this game too. You can choose from the all female lineup and then jump into a high quality boxing match. You could be a fighting an anime boxer girl, anime school girl, anime cow girl, anime nurse, anime bunny girl. It's all very realistic. In fact, Realism is clearly the main focus of the game. As you can see, in between rounds, your coach is giving you a pep talk in the corner. The realistic jiggle physics help blur the line between real life and video games. The only part that really lets this unadulterated realism down is the crowd. You see this guy? Here he is again, and again, and again! It's like the designers got to the part where they were meant to program the audience and just said, fuck it, let's just copy paste the same three guys. Then we can get back to creating some more anime tits. Amazingly, this also made it out of Japan. And just like the last game, the UK was the only other country to see a release. And this is because, as my friend Guru Lau would say, It's games that can't come back. In case you thought the video had already peaked, this game translates as freshly picked swimsuits. Plus, it's made by Tamsoft and published by D3 again. These guys are the gold standard in quality video games. This is like a swimsuit swimming pool mini game collection, and you begin by selecting your favourite looking girl. There is no real advantage to picking one over the other, it's literally just which one you like the look of most. The first game is called Floating Island struggle. You only have two buttons, circle and cross. One dodges and the other makes your girl do a bum attack. The aim is to dodge the opponent's bum attacks and land one of your own. Two successful in a row will knock the other girl into the water and you win. Obviously there is a replay mode, obviously the first view is this. 
This game is followed by one where you have to land on a target, and that's bullshit. After that is a game I have no idea about. One girl is at the end of the swim pool sticking her ass out, and you have to swim up to her and stop just before you stick your bum in her face. The closer the better. You have to press the different buttons to swim, but no matter what I tried, I couldn't fail and get my girl's face in the other girl's dirt box. Believe me, I tried. Tamsoff knows that you really just want to have a good pump with these girls, so in the next round, you have to competitively pump up a water balloon. This means taking turns on the hand pump to inflate the water balloon above you. You can swap over any time, but the person that pumps the balloon beyond its limits gets wet and loses. The next game involves jumping from inflatable toy to inflatable toy. Now, I couldn't get the hang of this game at all. Sometimes my jumps were successful and sometimes not. I couldn't work out for the life of me what the hell I was doing differently between my good jumps and my bad jumps. Just fuck fucking weird. Next is the most bizarre version of rock, paper, scissors ever created. So you randomly roll rock, paper or scissors. If you roll the offensive symbol, so like if you get scissors and the opponent gets paper, you have to press circle to reach for the hammer before the other player reaches for the helmet. If you do this, then you score a point by hitting the other person on the head. Three headshots and you win. Because obviously, if your girl doesn't reach out for your helmet, you're not a winner. Now you have the classic odd one out round. Three PlayStation button logos are shown on your side of the screen and you have to press the button that is not shown. If you don't do it in time or press the wrong button, the things you are standing on move further apart. If they move three times, your girl will lose balance and in the water she goes. This is the last mini game I'll show. There are more, but the novelty had ran out as did Tamsoft's original ideas. The game is basically just press the button shown quicker than the other person. If you don't do it quick enough, then a super fake looking shark catches you. I wanted to stop playing at this point because the next game was looking far too interesting to keep playing this shit. So stay on track. Bikini girls fighting, bikini girls boxing, and bikini swimming pool sports. So how does the now famous Tamsoft D3 Studio Publisher combination top this stunning array of games? With bikini girls battling zombies in an action game, that's how. Then to top that off, this package has been wrapped in J-pop for literally no reason. <laughs> This game roughly translates as the one champion, and you guide your bikini girl through various stages, vanquishing hordes of zombies with either your sword or suspiciously high kicks for a woman in high heels, or by using your limited special move, which is a pose that makes your enemies explode. You fight all the bad guys in one area and then move to the next area of the stage. The combat is a bit clunky, but decent enough. But after all the shovelware that Tamsoft and D3 had put out, Finally, this game was their breakout hit. The combination of zombies, swords and girls proved to be a winning combination as The One Champion sold well and became a series of games that are still being released to this day. PS2 games, Xbox games, PS3 games, Vita, PC and PS4 games have been made and released, all of which command a decent price online if you wish to import them. I actually really like the look of the PS4 version, the one you're looking at now and might have to try and get hold of the disc of it. But I do have the PSP game in the series, but it's really not good because the camera is just fucking awful. However, I do also have the PS3 game in the series, and despite the unlocked frame rate regularly dropping well below 60 frames a second, it's actually quite a lot of fun. So there we have it. Tamsoft made games with girls in for a long enough amount of time to find out how to make them good. Well done to them, and well done to D3 for sticking with them. Abats.